Hey guys, so I haven't done a tutorial in a little while, um, but I just got some really awesome products and I'm going to be reviewing them on my blog, but I wanted to kind of do a tutorial because I just started trying them and I'm obsessed because you'll see, but like basically your skin will become like beautiful. So I got this. This is from Max Factor. These are the skin luminizing foundations and I'm so excited because I'm the first person in the Middle East to receive them and um, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about them because they have like these two these kind of like strange like pigment and the white and I was just kind of I was confused like I thought maybe it might come out like really stripy and everything but I put it on my hand so you can see it basically looks just like foundation when it comes out you don't see the stripes at all I don't know what I don't know how it goes in here I'm not sure how that works but it works and it's amazing and I think this is super super amazing Marilyn Monroe um huge beauty icon she actually was named she's now the beauty icon or the ambassador for max factor which is incredible because it's been how many years um you know since she's been you know even around and now she's the beauty ambassador for max factor which is huge so they actually came out with this red lipstick which is called ruby tuesday so it's like the signature Marilyn lip so i'm not really i don't really look like Marilyn Monroe <laughs> so I'm not gonna do like the full-on Marilyn Monroe look but I wanted to do I wanted to do the red lip and I wanted to use these products because I'm like super I'm very thankful first of all for Max Factor for sending them to me first <laughs> and I love them I, I've just been ha I've had such great results from it and Max Factor um, if you guys know hopefully you guys know about him because to me he was like he was like a makeup king <laughs> back in the day. I mean, when I studied makeup in Hollywood, I ran to his star to find a star, and I, that was the only star I took a picture with. So, his, and one of the things he was known for was foundation. So, even in makeup school, it was like a thing. You had to like go and find those Max Factor old fashioned foundations. They're really, really amazing. They're heavy, um, but they're amazing. So, obviously, you know, it's been a long time, and now they created like really beautiful foundation versions of, you know, he's known for his skin, definitely known for creating beautiful skin so I want to try these and I want to show you guys how they look I'm obsessed with this one I use the 77 honey it seems to work really well with my skin I don't know if the 7 I'm not sure I have to ask um, the team here but I don't know if 77 is like what makes it olive and then the 80 is what makes it more beige because this is like an even number and this is an odd number I'm not sure but all I know is 77 really works for me and when I see them next to each other um, honey has a little more of a beige tone so I'm gonna use a 77 and I love it it's just so pretty and I'm all about the healthy skin I think it's great when women you can see their skin it looks really beautiful they look healthy it's radiant and glowing so I'm obsessed with this and you can see as soon as I apply it it's it's amazing it goes on and it looks like skin I'm obsessed and I think this is really great for women who don't want people to know that they're wearing makeup. <laughs> Which I know there's a lot of women who are like pretend like they're not wearing makeup, but it's obvious they are. Um, because it gives you that like really, it looks like skin. It doesn't look like makeup at all. So I, I think it's maybe because of the mix of um, the two, uh, the, the serum and everything together. Um, it says instantly captures light for healthy looking glow. I mean... You can instantly see that. It's so beautiful. And Pat McGrath is actually, you know, she's one of the most influential makeup artists in the world. She is the main creator and makeup ambassador for um, Max Factor. I mean, they just really have a great team together. And I met her a few times, and one of the things she always talks about, you know, like, yes, like, Max Factor was known for his skin, but she really kind of brings that out even more. So she's always talking about, you know, in her fashion shows, creating beautiful luminous skin so you can see already my skin just looks perfect but it doesn't look like I have makeup on it just looks like I have like this healthy glow I'm obsessed with this I really didn't expect it I was kind of worried because of the stripes in it but it's phenomenal I'm just gonna apply it all over and you can see I mean the proof is in the pudding you can see how my skin looks there was blotchiness there was some acne here the, the coverage is actually really really good you don't really need to go over it with a concealer all you need to do is kind of blot and then I don't know how it's like this is amazing and I know um, Max Factor created the grease paints which I was telling you guys about before and I think it was I mean, he created it like a hundred years ago so this is kind of coming after that so I'm not sure if they mixed the grease paints with this like serum and it became like magic. So now you guys can see my skin looks like skin. It doesn't look like I have foundation on. It looks really luminous, really healthy. It looks like healthy, beautiful. 
even toned, well kept skin. So that's great. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the tutorial. So I want a little bit of a bronze going, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little um, bronzer. I'm just gonna use, I'm, I like to do a little bit of a cream contour, you guys know that. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of a darker color. And if you don't feel comfortable with doing cream contour, you don't have to do that by any means, but you guys know I love that. And I'm basically gonna go ahead and start contouring the face. And I'm just kind of going into the hollows of the cheeks. I'm just going to go ahead and contour my nose as well. And I'm basically just using a tiny bit of product now. Very small amount. You can see we have a nice contour going. And typically I do use concealers to um, add like the highlight. But because I don't really want to get rid of this glow, I want to keep it. So I'm just going to use the same product because I love the way the glow looks. I'm just using it in a lot shade, lighter shade. This is 45. Um, it's called Warm Almond. So I'm, I'm personally, I'm obsessing with this glow, so I'm going to roll with it. I'm sure you guys are going to see me ranting about this in more videos. Because the glow is really pretty, and I don't want to get rid of it, I really like it. Um, I'm just going to lightly dust a little bit of a yellow-based powder all over the skin. And I just want it to be, I don't want to get rid of that luminosity. So just to kind of keep everything in place, but really keep that glow as well so I mean you know like it's still there it looks like I have highlighter on but I don't so I guess this is kind of a product review video as well <laughs> because I'm telling you guys a lot about this foundation so um the next thing I'm going to do is I am actually just going to use um I, I want to do kind of like a simple but yeah very beautiful glamorous look because I am using those red that red lipstick which is so beautiful the Marilyn signature red lipstick so I'm just going to grab um, just any kind of like bronzish. This has kind of got like a little bit of a reddish tint to it, but it's so pretty. I mean, any reddish bronze or bronze color, you know, whatever you like. And I'm just going to basically place that in the middle of my lid. I'm going to take kind of a blunt brush and just blend out those harsh edges if there are any. I'm also just going to apply it to the bottom lash line. And I'm just going to use kind of like a gold paste as well because I really do love the way gold look with red. It just looks so, so, so pretty. So I'm just going to take a small amount and I am going to kind of place it in the center of the lid and work my way out. And I just added a little bit of water to my hand. So I'm getting a little bit of texture with that gold as well and it's just creating a really pretty kind of appearance. And you can do this with any eyeshadow, any anything powder, liquid, whatever, add like a little bit of water to it and it makes it just really, really, really pretty. Gives it that nice little texture. I'm just going to take a black eyeliner and I'm just going to basically line the inner rim and the inside. I always tight line, but if you're uncomfortable, just try to look down and then kind of line inside. Just like this if you're uncomfortable. And now I'm just going to line a little bit right here on the edges. Next, I'm just going to apply some mascara, and um, this is actually Max Factor as well, and I think I've been using this in like all my videos lately. It's a really great mascara. I actually have a few of them now. I uh, stocked up because um, it's super black, so it even looks nice when I wear my false lashes or if I want to, sometimes I'm in a rush and I don't have time to put false lashes, I'll put this on as well, just because um, it's just super black, and you can see instantly when I put it on, like my lashes are not very long, they're not very thick. They're not very intense, and it just gives it that really great kind of look. I mean, the team now at Max Factor, even though Max Factor was a legend, the team is doing such a good job to kind of keep his legacy alive with all these amazing products. They have a really good team. And I'm actually going to add a hint of that gold as well right in the center here just to give it like a little extra oomph. So I'm just going to grab a really small, tiny brush. Um, this is a really great tiny, tiny, super tiny brush. Like a liner brush is great. Um, and I'm basically going to take a little bit of that gold again. And I'm just going to put it in the center. Right here. And it gives your eyes such a nice little glow. I'm just going to grab a brown eyeliner and I'm just going to go along the lower lash line. And I know this is a bronze look, but I really love bronze makeup with red lips. I just think it's so pretty. I'm just going to touch up my mascara because I definitely applied some things which I should have applied first. But you get inspired as you go. Just any bronze that you have. And 
And I'm going to do a little bit of Marilyn in this. Just because we're using her lipstick and a little bit of pointiness right there. I, mean, I don't really usually do like a Marilyn look on myself because I don't have her features. But she definitely inspired like some of the winged liner and you know the little bit of the pretty kind of flirtiness in the eyes which is very pretty. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab the lipstick. So I'm going to apply it to the lips starting with Cupid's bow. It smells really good. It smells like candy, actually. <laughs> and just to warm up the face, I'm also going to apply a little bit of a blusher. And you can use any color you like. Um, I'm going to use one that is a little pink in tone. But not orange. We don't want to use anything orange. We want to use something that has a little bit of the same kind of undertone as this, this lipstick. Um, I really love this lipstick. And um, one of the things about Marilyn Monroe is she used to apply layers of lipstick. So, you know, that was part of the reason why she had so much volume in her lips. So I'm going to apply more lipstick. I'm just going to intensify the liner a little bit because I can see now that everything's done. Ooh, just intensifying it a little bit. This is optional. You don't need to do that. I like it more. And I want to keep it Marilyn again. I know I said I wasn't going to do it too inspired by her, but I really loved her. So she, I mean, she was such a beauty icon. So I'm just going to kind of straighten out the lashes. I just feel like that liner kind of added a little extra oomph. And there we go. So, and you can play with this, do whatever you want. If you want to add something a little bit more, you can totally do that. Have fun with it. This is makeup. Makeup is fun. So, I'm going to add a little bit of this really great bronze color. It can be any bronze or brown color that you have. It really doesn't matter. And I'm just basically going to work this into the crease here as well. Just I'm working as I see, like with a red lip, how everything looks. And really intensifying it. Keeping the focus on this gold texture for the eyes, the lashes of course. A little retro Marilyn inspired look. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, it's super easy to do, very easy. If you had 15 minutes, you could totally do this. Um, and um, the skin for this product, I mean, this is just amazing. I know you guys will love this if you try it. So definitely pick this up if you can. I think if you're in the States, it's gonna be CoverGirl, but in Dubai, in the UK, in this part of the world, it is Max Factor. So um, it's amazing, my skin looks flawless and it looks very very healthy which I'm happy about so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time bye guys so this is the complete look it's um pretty actually simple for a glamorous look it's, it's really glamorous and I think we kept the the focus on the eyes on the lashes and we did a little bit of the texture over here on the lid which was really pretty and the overall focus we just really kept it on the glowing skin and these beautiful this beautiful red it was called Ruby Tuesday I believe um, Ruby Tuesday from Max Factor this really gorgeous lip so uh, it's a really pretty kind of glam definitely Marilyn Monroe inspired which I didn't think it was gonna be so Marilyn Monroe but it is um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video check me out on Instagram I'll see you guys next time bye guys